the light bulb. We use these things everywhere, in our homes, in our cars, in the streets, in the signs that light up our cities. When you think about the light bulb in terms of an invention, the adoption rate that it has is pretty astounding. In the US, it's about 100%. Despite the success of the light bulb, did you know that by 2018 in California, all sales of incandescent light bulbs will be banned? And similar federal legislation will make the efficiency requirement for light bulbs so high that it will be basically impossible to distribute, sell, or manufacture incandescent light bulbs. These regulations will eventually force consumers to move to different types of light bulb technologies. That's what takes us to the topic of our current video today, LED light bulbs. Before we get too far into LED light bulbs and what makes them tick, let's talk about the old school light bulb. The light bulb is the quintessential invention. Nothing's more famous as an invention except maybe the wheel. The light bulb is so synonymous with ingenuity and ideas that the very concept of someone getting an idea is a light bulb right above their head. But who invented the light bulb? Most people off the top of their head would say Thomas Edison, but that's not entirely correct. In fact, historians have verified almost 22 different inventors who came up with some sort of incandescent light bulb before Edison. What Edison did do was provide an entire electrical system that supported the light bulb and allowed it to take effect in the market. Without a system supporting a light bulb, alternating current, distribution systems, wiring. A light bulb isn't very useful without all those systems in place. So why all the hate? Why get rid of something that's existed for the past hundred or so years and has worked very effectively for everyone? Well, it all boils down to efficiency. The standard light bulb is not that efficient. In fact, a standard incandescent bulb, 60 watt GE like this, all the energy flowing through here, only about 5% of it is converted to visible light. The rest of it is just wasted energy, it leaves this bulb in the form of heat. Have you ever tried to touch a light bulb after it's been on for a long time? Not a good idea. In 2011, 461 billion kilowatt hours were used for lighting. The majority of that going to standard incandescent bulbs. If you think 461 billion kilowatts and only 5% of that is actually being used for something, well, useful, you can see that there's an extreme amount of waste. In fact, the 461 billion kilowatt hours makes up about 15 to 20 percent of all the electricity used in the entire United States. Because of this, you can see why the incandescent bulb is being phased out. So with all this inefficiency and with standards going up, what are our alternatives? Well, that's kind of the point of this video. We're going to discuss several different technologies and compare and contrast them in both in terms of efficiency of light output efficiency of power consumed, uh, efficiency of lumens, the brightness of the bulb. Uh, we're going to kind of dive in and see what our options are because pretty soon you're not going to be able to find these bulbs and you're going to have to start making some choices and there's always some trade-offs. So let's take a look. We're going to be comparing three types of lighting technologies. The baseline standard incandescent bulb, the relatively more common CFL or compact fluorescent and newer technologies like this LED or light emitting diode bulbs like this one from Philips. This is actually the L price bulb which we'll talk about a little bit later. Okay here we are at our light bulb technology comparison. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is the LED or light emitting diode. The pros of this device are the high efficiency, which is a high brightness combined with a low power consumption. Uh, LEDs have not typically been known for having a really high brightness level or lumen output. Uh, they've all actually been known for having pretty low light output levels with a low power consumption. Uh, LEDs that produce a high amount of light are a relatively new technology, and therefore the con of that is the high initial cost. Uh, let's look at the CFL or compact fluorescent. Uh, the great thing about these bulbs is they use a relatively stable technology that's been around for a while. Uh, it has high brightness 
and a uh, low power consumption as well. It's competitively priced. Uh, some of the cons that you might see with uh, CFLs are flickering, dimming issues, uh, not turning on as quickly as you'd like. Uh, and another big downside of this is, is most CFLs contain mercury, which is a poisonous ingredient, toxic for the environment, uh, bad news all around. So um, in our comparison of the old versus the new, uh, we're going to be looking at real-world examples of these technologies. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is for the LED category, the Philips L Prize bulb. Uh, this particular bulb has won uh, an award that has been offered uh, by the U.S. government um, to create a light bulb that had specific uh, standards that it had to adhere to to basically replace a 60-watt standard light bulb. So we're going to be running that bulb through its paces. Uh, for the CFL category, we're going to be looking at the Envision CFL Soft White. This is a 14 watt bulb uh, that uh, is really well known uh, around the internet and several light bulb testing places for being a light bulb that has a really great light characteristic, a really good color. Um, and we'll be looking at also at your conventional GE 60 watt standard incandescent bulb to be kind of our control. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, so initial costs, uh, LEDs you're looking at upwards of $20, um, sometimes more, sometimes less. There's lots of rebates available for these new technologies. Uh, in fact, on Slick Deals, there is a, a deal where they have this bulb at Home Depot for just $15 for the L-Prize bulb. So keep your eyes out. Um, we're, we're rounding the price just to the average price that you'll probably be able to find it with uh, with discounts uh, at $20. Uh, same thing for the CFL. You're looking at about $2 per CFL for a quality CFL. Um, and a standard incandescent bulb, which are pretty much becoming pretty hard to find. Uh, just looked up quick prices on Amazon and, and they're hovering around about $1 per, per bulb. Um, so let's take a look at the lumen output. LED is, uh, is definitely made lots of advancements. Uh, the L Prize bulb is pushing 925 lumens, which is brighter than both the Artest CFL and the incandescent standard light bulb. Let's look at the power side of things. Uh, the LED is pulling 9.5 watts, uh, the CFL is pulling about 14 watts, and the standard 60 watt light bulb of course is pulling 60 watts. Let's take a look at the efficiency or the lumens per watt. This is the brightness level you get per power used. Um, so the lumens that the LED is putting out per watt is 97, the CFL is 59, and the standard is 13. Obviously a higher lumen output per watt is better. Uh, let's look at the lifetime ratings. Uh, these are actually really interesting. The LED, one of the big perks is that, hey, this bulb is going to last 25 years. Of course, that depends on your usage model, but you're looking at 30,000 hours of effective life. Uh, I read through some of the L Prize documentation, and it actually basically says, you know, it, we think it can go past 30,000 hours. Um, however, it may just be not quite as bright as it used to be. So they basically say, as long as it's above 80% of its original brightness. Um, at 30,000 hours, it's good. So the lifetime of those may be much longer uh, than the 30,000 hour rating, just because they are, you know, solid state hardware. Uh, so uh, let's look at the CFL 8,000 hours and the standard incandescent 2,000 hours. Uh, basically, these lifetime rings are hard to understand in hours. So we're going to change it up a little bit and look at the lifetime in years, assuming the light bulb is on about four hours a day, which the average light bulb tends to be. So the LED technology is going to last you 20.54 years with its hourly expectancy uh, rating. Uh, CFL will last you 5.48 years, and a standard light bulb will last you 1.36 years. That's the time how often you will have to replace your bulbs. So let's also look at the purchase cost uh, over a year of life. So basically, if you take a, basically a range of, say, 20 years, uh, 
all of those years combined, you're on average going to spend one dollar twenty-one cents uh, for an LED, thirty-six cents for a CFL, and seventy-three cents for a standard light bulb. Uh, that's the average cost per year going to be putting out per light bulb over the course of of twenty or so years. So uh, let's look at the number of bulbs purchased for thirty years. Once again, we're looking at a paradigm shift. We're going to looking at moving to a new technology and moving away from the old. So we're basically looking, you know, going forward from here on out, if I choose CFL, you know, what can I expect? If I choose LED, what can I expect? Uh, with a standard light bulb, that's our control. So you can see in 30 years, you basically will use one and a half LED bulbs, which is pretty good. You know, there's not a lot of waste there. CFL, you'll use about 5.5 .5 over the course of 30 years. And a standard incandescent bulb, about 22 separate bulbs that you'll have to put in and out of that socket over 30 years. Okay, so let's just review. So the LED initial cost $25, power consumption 9.5 watts, lumens 925. You can read, you can reference that if you'd like. So let's get into some more interesting things. A lot of you are probably going to say, what the heck? You know, you think I'm going to spend 20 bucks a bulb, you think I'm going to mess around and and waste my time with this. Why would I even bother messing around with these expensive bulbs? I can get a light bulb for basically free. So let's uh, let's talk about that. So let's say you decide, you know what? I'm going to buy an LED bulb, and I'm just going to use it. So you buy it for twenty bucks. The energy over the course of the year is only a dollar sixty-six. A CFL costs you two bucks. Energy cost over that year is two dollars and forty-five cents. Total cost of four dollars and forty-five. A standard bulb is going to cost you over the course of a year eleven dollars and fifty-one cents. So at the end of the year, you've moved to LED. You've you've spent more money in one year than than any of these other technologies. But but let's look at year two. By year two, your total cost of ownership of the LED versus the standard bulb is exactly the same. So it costs you $23.32 to own and operate that bulb. The energy costs you only $3.32 for an LED, but when you look at the standard bulb, it's costing you $21 in energy versus $3 in energy. So you're making up a lot of the energy. And this is, I should note, is assuming a uh, 13 cents per uh, kilowatt hour and so you can see the CFL is an attractive purchase as well it's only cost six dollars and ninety cents so it's it's beating everything out at this point um, let's look at five years after five years you'll have spent twenty eight dollars and thirty two cents on an LED fourteen dollars and twenty six cents for a CFL and fifty six dollars and fifty six cents for the standard incandescent so in just five years, you're spending dramatically more maintaining your standard bulbs. Um, let's look at 10 years. By 10 years, $36 is what all you'll have spent in 10 years for light bulbs, including power. For a CFL, only $28. For a standard incandescent, you'll have spent $113 replacing that bulb in that socket. Let's look at 20 years. By 20 years, it becomes a lot more dramatic. Uh, the LED, you've, you're still on that first bulb after 20 years. You've only spent $53 in buying the bulb and paying for electricity. The CFL, you've spent a little bit more in electricity at this point, so it's up at $57 and you use four different bulbs. Uh, standard incandescent, you've used 16 bulbs and you've paid $225.24 to your power company for having used incandescent bulbs. That's a pretty dramatic uh, increase in, in cost using the standard. So you're you're dropping your cost of ownership on your bulbs a lot by switching to these newer technologies. So let's look at 30 years. By this point, the total cost of ownership for LED technologies is $89.93, CFL is $85.58, and the standard incandescent, you're $337.36, and you'll have used about I don't know how many of those, 22 bulbs, uh, CFL you've only used 6 and you'll, you'll still be on your second bulb at 30 years with the LED technology. 
So you can see there's pretty dramatic cost savings to be had by moving to CFL or LED technology. So this is all charted out on a graph. You can see the light pink is the incandescent bulb. You see after 30 years you're paying dramatically more to run an incandescent bulb. Uh, if you would have switched to CFL, uh, the cost is is actually lower than the other technologies until you start reaching that 17 to 20 year uh, range that where the LED actually, since the bulb lasts so much longer, becomes more cost effective. Um, so y you can see it's kind of muddy which is uh, more cost effective LED or CFL because it could be either depending on how long you plan on running those technologies. So kind of an interesting little graph here. Let's think about this. You have in the average US household 40 bulbs, 40 light sockets that are in use. That's just the average. Um, assuming that you replaced all your incandescent bulbs with LED bulbs, at the end of 30 years, you know, you could have saved $9,897. That's $9,897 that you have in your pocket that you're richer. Uh, and CFL, $10,000. $71 at 30 years. So that's very dramatic savings. Um, you can save a lot of money uh, doing this. And if you take into account a 7.5% interest rate over 30 years with compounding interest, if you switch to CFL or LED and put that money in your pocket and invested it at 7.5%, at the end of 30 years, because you decide to use LED technology or CFL technology, you're going to be about $90,000 richer. So, so just from a cost perspective, switching to one of these two technologies over standard bulbs is going to make you much better off monetarily. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for this first section of our LED technology overview. Um, it, coming up we're going to be doing some real life testing of these devices uh, instead of just kind of a academic uh, analysis of uh, what these devices are capable of both in terms of uh, saving money and just their technical specifications. So stay tuned for that and uh, keep watching for videos on the C Butters channel and we'll see all of you soon.